Hello, this is Mickey again, and that's another episode of uh, new DLC, Fate of Finland preview. Uh, this time uh, we'll take a look into Panzer Division, which is basically only Finnish uh, Panzer uh, tank division in the uh, in the war. Uh, here you can see the description uh, of the division. You can read it if you want and let's just go into the division so it's armored division with a lot of slots in tank tap of course and again pretty cheap uh, air tap so that's interesting mix of uh, units and let's see the, the units okay so uh, the first unit is uh, same like Gurnus Treloki uh, amphibious tank 10 points but Nothing very really special, or weak weapons, uh, slow, and probably that's all. Uh, again, motorbike, no radio, so no much use, probably. Uh, armored car might be useful early on, but yeah, that's like a standard one for Russian, not much use, probably. T26C. Uh, yeah, the Russian capture tank. Cheap, but uh, nothing actually special. Weak gun, uh, weak uh, HE shells, so it's not a really good in the support, anyways. Uh, slow, yeah, no matter, no, not really useful, probably. Uh, Tarka Ampuya, uh, again, snipers with double Mosin snipers, pretty good like uh, in the uh, infantry division uh, Tieda Stuelo mm, uh, kind of uh, unit like uh, Spach Troop uh, with three SMGs, MG and Smoke uh, pretty weird setting we get uh, pretty okay numbers per card and might be useful of course you don't have much uh, Recon options, anyways, so we probably just take uh, both uh, snipers and do this unit uh, just in case. Especially because snipers are used more like uh, combat unit for suppressing and killing stuff. So, Tier de Stello will be probably your only recon active squad to spot stuff. Mm, okay, let's move to the infantry tab. Um, Nostovaki, it's kind of like Erzat's Truppen squad. It's actually interesting because uh, they have pretty pretty nice weapon with uh, FM 2429 with 10% 10, 10 of uh, accuracy. So it's pretty interesting gun and of course multiple cocktails. Uh, so this unit might be really useful in the uh, first fights. You can take them in A and B, of course, so it's also a nice thing. Uh, Yakari, so Yaggers again, like in infantry division with Molotovs and Panzerfaust, six cards of them, so you can basically take only them. Really nice. Kivari, so uh, Rifleman squad, yeah, standard one. Nothing new. Defense uh, Hunters, Ilahita Royunta. Yeah, pretty much like same in the uh, same like in, in the infantry division. Uh, flame flamethrower, pioneers, and the commander Yakari and Kivali. That's not much choice except the new Nostovaki unit, which is nice. But this this the division is not based on the infantry. We have also pretty expensive slots. Like only three slots for one point, and then two, two, and three, and three. So probably we won't take uh, less slot for our team games. Instead, uh, we take some different stuff with this division. Let's go to the tank tab where the most interesting things happen. Okay, so we have a really wide choice of the tanks. Most of them are captured, Russian one or uh, uh, German kind of land lease uh, uh, models so first one T26B 
It's Russian capture tank. It's pretty weak, like the Recon one. Nothing special. At least it has a lot of ammo. It's really cheap. Uh, and you can take a lot of them in PC. So you can just spam them in PC just. Just to hold the, t uh, the ground for them. Uh, T26C, a common version, uh, pretty much same, nothing special. And T26E, it's actually uh, not Russian. Uh, the the chassis is a uh, Witzker, E, British tank, but with uh, uh, Russian turret added to it. So it's kind of different than uh, than this one. But yeah, the same price, you don't, you can take them without that, so uh, 24 EC for this and 29 and 7, so it's, it's pretty bad, better to take 26, 26B. T28E, uh, uh, yeah, three, three turrets on this, uh, so three machine guns. No much use because it's only DT, so yeah, it's pretty weak. Um, front armor is uh, kind of okay for the price, uh, but sides are weak, and the gun is not really like useful except the main damage. It might be actually really good in damage case, but AP shells are not bad because it's like a uh, short uh, barrel gun, so. And only you can take only them only in A because they are captured, so they have limited numbers. And Nilonen, it's basically Panzer 4 J with a slower uh, turret rate. Yeah, but it's pretty standard uh, stats for uh, mm, Panzer 4. And yeah, you can take them in decent numbers in A, and probably it's better to take them in B for 12 of them. And probably with uh, veterans here, yeah, this one, so nine. Klimi, it's uh, basically KV1S, if I'm not wrong, yeah. Decent front armor, kind of okay gun with 100 millimeters penetration, so pretty good. And so just same uh, HE damage, pretty okay gun tank. Two of them. In a, it's a nice number, especially considering you have just one uh, activation point cost, so you can take them. I think it's a 43 model, if I'm not wrong, only in a four of them. Sturmi, which is basically stuck free, uh, but with uh, wooden plates on the sides. If I'm not wrong, it's adding like 10 uh, millimeters of uh, armor on the sides for this tank. So it's kind of unique for this uh, nation. And yeah, you can take only to take them only in A and B, no, 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 no C, and you probably want them on that. So probably one cut in A, one in B, something like this. Uh, Commander Stuck. Pretty nice green painting on it. Yeah, but only in A also. So. And I, it's actually interesting to have uh, uh, DP, uh, DT on it, not MG. Yeah. And Sotka, 85mm version, actually with APCR. So, pretty nice penetration for this tank. And only in A also. Three or two, probably you can go with two uh, of them. Uh, support tap, uh, like always, mortars, nothing. Oh, actually, you can take them in motorbike, it's interesting. Uh, Maxim, machine gunner, super truck, and command unit, Vidal uh, Tempo, command unit. And here is a really interesting unit, for, and unique probably only for this uh, division. Uh, it's BT5 or 7, I think, with uh, finish made turret. 
and the howitzer. And actually, it's really interesting because it has uh, flame shells. Basically, f fire flame shells, uh, flame uh, shells at the distance. So, uh, so far, uh, as the strike team we tested it, it was really, really effective. Mm, and I'm really curious how it wor will work in a, in a game when more players will test it. And you have also a nice numbers of them: four in A. 8 in B and 12 in C, so a lot of support tanks uh, if you want. Uh, T50, common tank, also capture one, it's, it's really interesting, especially for people that played uh, War Thunder, a lot of tanks, so it was really no tank in those games. Uh, uh, but you want to uh, use it in combat probably, anyways, sadly. And capture it uh, is uh, one for one five two yes. with uh, AP shells, but only six and HE shells. Yeah, it's like standard uh, Soviet one, but you can take it for uh, Finnish divisions, which, uh, which is interesting, especially for uh, one v one probably. Sadly, it's only one per card, so it's kind of unicorn, and when you lose it, it better not come back. But Anti-tech trap, um, yeah, double IT rifle squad, no good transport also. Uh, pack, uh, I mean, uh, for 45mm gun, yeah, you can take them uh, in A B, pretty standard one. Tank hunters again, in a classic one. Pack uh, 48. Actually, you can take it uh, finally in uh, B phase, so you can take a, a bit more of them, which is really nice. And this division luckily have a uh, pack uh, 40 with APCRs, so a better gun than uh, infantry division, not only in a uh, anti air tap. Uh, again, Maxims, nothing special, only in a. 20 mil uh, AAs, also nothing special, just in A, mm, nothing more. Uh, buffers gun, which is nice, like always, in A, B. And Landsberg anti 2. Uh, I think it's uh, Swedish, Swedish uh, anti air, and it's kind of, I think it's exactly the same like a uh, Hungarian one in the Nibirot, but without the heat shells. AP shells, but still really, really good against the planes because it's a 40 mm turbo force auto cannon, so well, nice. An RT tap, uh, no much choice here, just a spotters and commanding unit, uh, then two cars of mortars, pretty normal one. Uh, Recon uh, playing with. Uh, 210 millimeters uh, RT Morser to call, pretty okay, but sadly it's only in B uh, and C with just one in B, which is weird. And then you have just a uh, heavy artery, but sadly you can take uh, super tracks with it, so it's kind of bad thing. But yeah, three cars of this, and that's only. That's your, your only choice for uh, RT with this division. So back basically this division don't have RT, probably, especially in 1v1. Just two cars of mortars and pretty bad uh, off-map plane. Um, yeah. Uh, air, air tap. It's uh, again really interesting for this division, like the previous uh, Finnish one. Uh, first is uh, Recon Gladiator, the British uh, plane. Uh, excellent agility, slow, kind of weak uh, weapons. 40 points is kind of a lot for a plane like this, probably. Uh, Italian G50 Bs plane, uh, also Recon one. It's uh, yeah, pretty much same speed. Yeah, just better agility, nothing more. 
B two three nine E Broster. I think it's a British plane also. Uh, excellent agility, nice fit, might be useful. Really cheap and with uh, elite uh, veterancy, might be good choice for taking down planes, especially for this uh, price. And it's uh, double uh, fifty cal, so nice. Again, uh, blame him that you can take in A in four with four uh, of them, Mark four. Uh, I think it's uh, yeah, it's a different version without uh, glass uh, cockpit for uh, pilots. I mean, it has uh, the cockpit, but uh, the previous version was more flat uh, in the front. Uh, not sure if it's uh, any difference. I have to check it, but I think it's uh, more. Uh, it has more uh, machine guns uh, here. Uh, I'm not wrong. I think a uh, front one or oh yeah, uh, bottom one probably. Uh, NAS, four of them, six and eight, so really nice in openings, and but only one card of them, so no much, uh, no much, not the same number like uh, in the infantry division. Um, Stuka, plane with a half ton bomb and light one, pretty expensive, I would say, but yeah, maybe someone will use them and. But with the diving animation, it's kind of hard to use them uh, in the game. Uh, Dornier 17, uh, half ton bomb, 95, uh, 95 points, pretty okay. Really slow, really, really slow. So, uh, yeah, that's a weak point of this plane. Um, price is okay, but a limited uh, veterans make it only one in A, so it's not like really useful early on and in later phases with this speed it might be just waste of points probably uh, it will be just easy to intercept by any fighter or plane uh, Finnish ace Ilu in Messerschmitt 109 G2 pretty standard plane, nice speed 2 in A Foreign B and uh, eight in C, which is nice actually. Yeah. Dornia seventeen Z two with light bombs. Actually, this this might be better than this. Uh, it's a bit it's a bit uh, faster, but it has more bombs and uh, yeah, it might be good uh, thing for uh, stunning things early on, especially in A with two of them or. Uh, Later on, it's still like no any any special plane, but yeah, might be cool. Uh, a cluster Stuka version, two of them in A. Pretty standard one, probably. Might be useful against uh, heavy divisions like uh, East Two Division in one v one games, for sure. And a rocket plane. Uh, uh, the the numbers in AR and yeah, they are pretty bad. I, th I think just another plane with the rockets, nothing nothing special probably. So yeah, that's all. Uh, and that's how I built uh, this division. I probably uh, don't look at this. It will be s basically same in team games and one v one, because. In real, I think it's better division for 1v1 games than team games because of weird unicorn tanks you have it uh, here without any heavy one or uh, good AT guns, just like small one. Uh, so, yeah, armored car, sni uh, two recon units in A, uh, just standard infantry set with Yakari and flamers in B. Maybe I will. Switch one uh, one more unit to phase A just in case. Then 24 uh, Nostovaki uh, and Arzot like units. And yeah, Commander and uh, Yakari. For tax, I just take uh, all the options and just taking the German one in the uh, in the B, just because uh, you have better numbers uh, of them in B than. Uh, then limited the options of the Russian tanks, captured with Russian tanks, and then in CJS, the spam of T26B. 
uh, for support just just vehicles no no maxims no mortars uh, isu and bt 42b for 80 guns uh, light 80s and pack 40s in a then again light uh, 80s and pack 48 in b for a's uh, Nimrods kind of uh, vehicles in A and then Bofors in B. Uh, for RT, I think uh, I want to use uh, much more much RT with this division. Just commanders for infantry command in A. Of maps in B, just because I don't know if uh, mortars will be useful in team games and heavy RT. I maybe maybe I can uh, swap uh, this off map for more RT or just mortars. It depends on you what uh, what you prefer. Air for place, of course, Blenheims, uh, fighters, more uh, plane, uh, more bombers with the light bombs and uh, cluster one. Ju uh, everything in A just uh, for a vanguard uh, income. So my plan with these divisions will be always probably just pushing A and B and then just so yeah, like I said, this division will be probably useful in 1v1, more than team games, too much unicorns, just like uh, home Polish horror army I would say, uh, not much infantry for them, uh, not much RT for them, so just planes and unicorn units that are really cool but not sure how they will work in uh, team games, so that's all. Uh, like always, subscribe and see you in next division preview. Bye.